the first few minutes, the last few minutes. So this is the new long arm. It doubles as a lounge chair. I'm pretty excited about it. Although I don't know if it'll be this comfortable to lay in inside the studio. Ugh. Well, if I learned anything the first time is put the machine on the bottom of the stack because we won't need it until we have everything else built. Oh my gosh, it's a mess over here. I can't believe I even let you see it right now. But this whole area over here is getting converted into the long arm station. Just so you are with me geographically, look at this. Here we go. Right here is the Juki J150, right? And that's the machine you saw me put in before. I just kind of have to figure out what I'm going to do with all of this stuff. Oh, I do have a great idea of what I can do with that roll of batting over there. I'll be right back. Bam. Yeah. All right. That's as good as it gets. At least I can still make clothes. Oh, how fun was that? Take a moment and thank my sponsor Hobbs for providing a soft landing and great batting. And now it is time to get this frame back together so we can put the Hobbs on here, drop some cotton couture, and practice my very first long arm machine quilting. I'm so excited. Okay, that's just simply disgusting. So the main goal again is to bring the frame in and kind of assemble it right here so I can kind of finagle it into position. I don't want to do any more work than I need to. I'm not sure if this tool rack needs to go away. You know, it's always a great idea to just leave everything just a little loose because the key to any quilt frame is keeping it level so that your machine just floats or glides along it. So one of the things I'm going to make sure I do is not tighten anything up until the whole frame's together so I can level it and keeping some of these L brackets loose may be the key to success. Look what I've done to the living room. I'm not even going to bother adjusting the lights, but man, there is just stuff everywhere out here. I can build it out there and then I haul it into my studio, which is on the other side of the living room. Okay, decisions made. That shelving system already emptied is out of here. Okay, new update and now we have an issue. I have the machine and I have the frame, but I don't have the cart. Because I really do have an awful lot of other filming I was supposed to be doing. I think it'll work. I'll just go ahead and pack it up. I'll get used to having it over there in the corner. Things happen for a reason. I'm sure there's a reason behind this. Look at the mess I've made. So I'm going to get this reorganized and uh, well, we'll get back to it later on. This is the system. We've got two rollers and a trimmer and an unfolder across the floor. And we are back up and rolling, right back in action. It's been about 24 hours. Just jumped out of the shower. I couldn't wait to start the video because uh, UPS the next day dropped off the box and I can only imagine what happened. I'm sure you can too. The guy finishes packing the pallet with like five or six boxes. There's a huge load, right? And he sits there, signs off the paperwork, ships it off. He's got his foot up on the box. He's like, yep, there goes Rob's shipment. He looks down and there's one box left. He's like, ah! Oh no, what do I do? So he throws it on the UPS truck and arrives the next day. Now that shipment had the carriage, the trolley, that's gonna allow the machine to ride across the bed. Right here and right here, this is key. Those are optics. So this 
track system, I do not have to put any kind of encoder on the wheels. Anyone that's ever built a frame before, in the past we've used a wheel system that gave intelligence between the, how the machine was moving to the brains of the machine. But this machine, I'm literally gonna drop it on this frame. Now I haven't put any thread through it yet, but I think I've got all the parts where they belong all set up. I've got my little mat below there. So as you can see though, I've still got a giant mess everywhere. Find us here. Look at that, huh? The whole rack system now. I'm getting lights and cameras and all kinds of stuff up overhead. Well, I am loving my new Juki J350. This machine is incredible. I've only had it set up and fabric on it for maybe 30 minutes and I'm absolutely in love. Now, I knew I'd love the machine, but I didn't know, I've never long armed before. So this is all a new experience to me and I'll show you a lot of my experience as I go along. But I wanted to do good sewing science. So I started with things that I really knew and already understood. So of course I used my Michael Miller Cotton Couture, my high density solids. I love this fabric, it quilts beautifully. Everybody knows that. Uh, my Hobbs batting, not only is it great for skateboarding maneuvers, but it it is fabulous uh, for quilting. I've used it in so many of my projects in the, the past, gosh, almost 15 years of machine quilting. Uh, uh, table mount, just never a machine mount. Got the Orifil threads. Now it came with the bobbin preloaded and with a little bit heavier weight threads, but I've worked all the way down now to the Orifil 50 weight. That's a little finer thread in the bobbin and the top. And I'm running at high speed and I'm getting my speeds dialed in. So anyways, this thing has been incredibly intuitive and is sewing beautifully. So I just want to say thank you for enjoying the video. Now that the studio is complete, it's going to be super fun to see how we integrate this into making it fun, the show, and how I'm going to hopefully be able to go for project to design wall all the way right over here to the machine and just show you the entire process. Uh, thanks again to Juki for the incredible power tools. This is going to be an amazing addition here to making it fun. I'm super, super excited about that. And just want to say thanks for following along on this crazy build video. It's been a really fun remodel of the home studio. Thanks to all of you for being a part of making it fun. I want to get back to playing with this, so I will see you all real soon. Adios, amigos. I'm glad to see you're still there. Hey, if you insist on spending all day on YouTube, great with me. Please check out a few of my other videos. I think they're fantastic. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. We'll see you next time for another Helping of Fun.